What if I told you that you're doing something every single day, something that's unnecessary, that's keeping your blood pressure three to 10 points higher than it could be otherwise? That'd be important. You'd like to know that, right? I'm Dr. Ken Berry, a family physician, and in this video, I'm going to tell you what millions of people around the world do every day, sometimes multiple times a day, that keeps their blood pressure higher than it should be, in many cases, causing them to have to be on blood pressure medicine that they wouldn't have to take otherwise. So many people around the world have corrected their diet. They're now eating along the spectrum of a proper human diet and they've decreased their blood pressure, but they just can't get it back down to normal. It's three points, five points, 10 points high, and they still have to take a low dose of an antihypertensive medication. In this video, I'm gonna talk about what you might be doing that's keeping your blood pressure too high. If you use mouthwash once or more each day, then you're probably contributing, at least in part, to your high blood pressure. Even though they're accepted by the American Dental Association and have their seal of approval, many mouthwashes contain an ingredient or multiple ingredients that cause your blood pressure to stay high on a daily basis. On an average day, you have more bacteria in your mouth than there are people on the planet Earth. And you can have up to 500 different kinds of bacteria in your mouth. Now, for you clean freaks out there, don't freak out. That's not a bad thing. That's not a pathology. That's not something you should treat. That's normal. It's good to have these bacteria. And when you eat a very low carbohydrate diet, a proper human diet, you select for the proper bacteria. And I'm gonna tell you why that's so important. And then what products in mouthwash you should avoid. Having bad breath is not caused by having bacteria in your mouth. Having bad breath is caused by having the wrong bacteria in your mouth. And in many cases, there are simple steps you can take to select for the good, healthy bacteria and to minimize the bad bacteria. Like so many unnecessary things in life, we've been conditioned by years and years of advertisements on television, on the internet, and in magazines that we need to use mouthwash or we'll have butt breath, right? How many thousands of ads have you seen for mouthwash? Well, the problem is, is that many of these mouthwashes contain ingredients that annihilate the good bacteria in your mouth. Now, why does that matter? Why do you care? So we eat nitrates, right? If you're eating bacon or any processed meat, you're getting a good supply of nitrates. There are even more nitrates found in celery and in beet greens. They're very, very high in nitrates, even higher than bacon. So uh, we have bacteria in our mouth that actually use these nitrates and they convert them into nitric oxide, which is very healthy and very good for you and helps keep your blood pressure lower. And also we secrete nitrate from our circulation into our saliva, into our mouth, just so the good bacteria can convert the nitrate into nitric oxide, which we then swallow and goes into our cir circulation. Why is nitric oxide such a big deal? Well, for many reasons, but the one that's relevant to this video is that having a good supply of nitric oxide from the good bacteria in your mouth can help keep your blood pressure anywhere from three to 10 points lower than it would be otherwise. And there's multiple research studies that shows this to be true. I'll link to them down in the show notes. So you don't want to decimate or annihilate or carpet bomb the good bacteria in your mouth. When you do that, you actually don't get enough nitric oxide and therefore your blood pressure is higher than it could be otherwise. And I suspect that for many people who used to take two or three blood pressure medications every day, they're now eating a very low carbohydrate diet and their blood pressure is better, but they still have to take a low dose of that one blood pressure medicine. I suspect that these people are using mouthwash that contains one of these ingredients once or twice or thrice a day, thinking that that's normal and that that's necessary for proper oral hygiene. Nothing could be further from the truth. It is it, just like you wouldn't take an antibiotic every day to destroy your gut bacteria. You should not use mouthwash every day to destroy your mouth bacteria. This is a very important point. 
So here's the list of ingredients to look for in your mouthwash that are carpet bombing your good, healthy mouth bacteria. They are chlorhexidine, alcohol, chloride dioxide, triclosan, hydrogen peroxide. Mm -hmm, I know it whitens your teeth, but it also destroys your mouth bacteria. Cetylpyridinium chloride, eucalyptol, menthol, thymol, and methyl salicylate. Any of these ingredients are gonna just wreak havoc on your good, healthy mouth bacteria, and that's something that you do not want to do. So regardless of what you do, you're going to have billions of bacteria in your mouth. That's a good thing, that's not a bad thing, okay? You don't need to be trying to carpet bomb your mouth bacteria. You, what you wanna do is select for the good, healthy, helpful bacteria and try to make your mouth a place where the bad, mean, cavity-causing, bad breath-causing bacteria don't wanna live. You do that by eating a diet that's very low in sugar, very low in grains, and very low in vegetable seed oils. When you do that, you're gonna wind up eating lots of fatty meat, veg, some berries, and lots of real fermented cheese, things like that. You're gonna be eating real food. And what that real food does is it selects for and makes your mouth a very habitable place for the good, helpful, healthy bacteria that make nitric oxide and other beneficial things for your body's optimal health. Just because a mouthwash is got the stamp of approval from the American Dental Association does not mean that it's safe for you to use. You have to keep that in mind. Look for the ingredients I talked about on your current mouthwash. If it contains one of these, throw it away and consider not buying another mouthwash at all. You actually don't have to use a mouthwash on a daily basis to have wonderful smelling breath. This is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.